Hello, hi, my name is Min. Welcome to my English class. And today, my lesson is about a prefix. There are many ways to learn English, and I think one of the most efficient way is to uh, study prefix, root, and suffix. And prefix is a word combination that we put in front of other words to give it direction, to give it positivity or negativity. And by studying it, we can broaden our vocabulary. And today, our prefix is re re and we use this one a lot especially when we want to modify a verb for example we can put the word start and then the word re re has a meaning of again so i want to start something again and then we put re in front and then this word becomes restart for example you started an engine and then it died out and you want to uh, start it again then you use restart an engine and also this word has another meaning of against so whatever word we put in uh, after re then it has the word uh, it has the meaning against it mm -hmm. so that's the prefix that we are going to do today first vocabulary is new new is an adjective that we are all familiar with it describes the quality of an object so i bought something new this camera is new this pen is new mm -hmm. and by adding re in front and this one has the meaning again so renew means uh, to make something new again for example uh, my membership uh, of a fitness club uh, expired and i want to make it new again then i use the word renew and renew is used as a verb to uh, make something new again and it has a noun form which is renewal 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 of a membership renewal and so uh, another word that we use often is so new and fresh they are synonyms and we can also use refresh to make something fresh again mm -hmm. so and let's say uh, we watch a movie and my mind was all packed with uh, days worth of uh, information and i want to make it all go away and make a brand new start then i watch a movie and it'll refresh my mind refresh one's mind renew and refresh and we use them a lot in our daily life all right let's move on to the next example and our next example is cycle cycle uh -huh. so cycle is used a lot uh, as a noun uh, that describes um, a period of certain circulation so for example one's life cycle we also use this uh, to describe something that has a wheel uh -huh. so let's say uh, a certain thing has two uh, wheels then we use the term bicycle or when something has a uh, one wheel then we use the word unicycle mm -hmm. and then when we put the word re in front this one has the meaning again so it becomes uh, to go back to one's original status 
So recycle is the word that we use all the time, right? So we uh, have a plastic bottle like this and it's been used and it's dumped in the garbage can and we put it uh, in the recycle bin and it goes back to the recycling uh, factory and once it goes there it goes through a process of recycling and then it goes back to its original status which is plastic mm -hmm. so that's the word recycle and another word that we use a lot uh, these days is the word upcycle so upcycle uh, is used when we take already used product or uh, already dumped or wasted object and uh, use it to build something new for example there's a company in south korea uh, that uses uh, old and obsolete fire hose uh, to make them into bags or shopping carts mm -hmm. so remind means to bring back bring something back to your attention and we always use this form remind A of B I remind you of the danger I remind you of the importance of marriage I remind you of uh, our baby okay so remind super important and let's move on to our uh, next one and our next example is create 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 means to make something or to bring to existence like how God created us or like I created something uh, or like how uh, Steve Jobs created uh, iPhone so when you put RE in front of this one it becomes again again recreate recreate uh, and this word is quite uh, unique because it used almost very differently So this word, recreate, uh, just like how create is to bring something to existence, this is a verb that means to give something a new life. Mm -hmm. So we can recreate uh, past traditions or we can recreate our old marriage or we can recreate an exciting event that happened uh, in the past so this word is used almost always as an adjective by putting o n a l recreational recreation so recreation is a noun and recreational means uh, something that is used for purpose for purpose of pleasure so recreational is used as an adjective and it means for the pleasure purposes or for refreshment
So recreational uh, is the word that we use a lot. Mm -hmm. The final example today is okay and today's final example is the word locate 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 is a verb and we can make it into a noun by putting i o n location everybody knows what location is mm -hmm. it's the exact uh, so locate is a verb and it has the meaning to place something something and we can make it into a noun by adding i o n and it becomes uh, exact whereabouts about of anything that's the location right and we can put r e in front so we are placing something again relocate relocate uh, so we can use relocate to move something to a new place for example my uh, office was relocated my office was relocated mm -hmm. uh, but this word like resign uh, also has the negative meaning so when you say my office was relocated that usually means you had to move your location of your office it was not <coughs> something that you intended but you had to because of a huge construction mm -hmm. so my office was relocated uh -huh. i was relocated to uh, japan so i was working fine in my office in new york but then my supervisor suddenly gave me orders to relocate to Japan. So that's the word relocate. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's recap, review. So recap, review. They both have the words re as prefix in front of them. So let's give it a review. So by adding re again in front of the word new, renew, meant to make something new again so by adding re again after the word cycle is the period of something's circulation we can have a garbage uh, go back to its original status so plastic bag goes back to plastic okay we have the word sign sign was to uh, give your signature to join or to give uh, your consent but after uh, but by putting re which is against in front of the word sign you are signing against it you're uh, signing to leave it so resign means to retire and the word store was not a place where they sell lots of products it was a verb that meant to stack up together something so by adding re again, uh, you are bringing uh, something to its original status. Mm -hmm. So restore health, restore peace. And we have the word consider. Consider was to think about something. And by adding re, which is against, you are thinking about something in a bad way, in a negative way. So you're reconsidering marriage, you're reconsidering the promotion, means you're thinking about not getting one. Okay, gain was to get something by adding re in front. It basically meant the same thing with restore, which was to bring back something 
uh, to its original status. Recollect was uh, only used when you're uh, having a memory. So, re so you recollect your past event. You recollect your past marriage. I have no recollection was the noun and mind was your thinking so you are bringing something back to your attention again by using the word remind i remind you of our last uh, conflict and the next one was create create was to make something or to give something to existence and by uh, putting re in front of that word it meant to bring something back so uh, there is a lost tradition in our town and we want to recreate it and we also use this word recreational the adjective form of rec recreate a lot to describe something for the pleasure use so i'm using my car for recreational purposes and lastly we had the word locate to locate something meant to place something in a uh, to place something in a location right so uh, relocate uh, usually uh, means that you are forced to move to a new location so relocate my job was relocated to africa you're not very happy about it right so I hope to see you again and it is super important that you give it a review uh, of your lessons so if you have any questions please feel free to leave comments below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for our next amazing video goodbye